from the black rock pied trying to dig out a warthog and there's a reason I'm not in infrared um, it is as we do with lions most time we don't need infrared on on the lions and the fact that they are, are digging up a hole um, we're not blinding any animals we're not affecting their behavior and of course lions are, are, are incredibly capable of dealing with light it actually helps them at night so they are busy digging out or trying to dig out a warthog now after the rain we've had this is the sands a lot softer so they, look how deep she's going in the hole. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> Just her bottom showing. There might be piglets in there. Now these are the three mothers from the Black Rock Pride. Now of course, warthogs have multiple bolt holes. So there's actually females on, if we go over to the right there, Seb, on another hole as well. Oh, my hat's in the way. You can see they're digging in. Now. Guys, I'm going to apologize. I'm going to, I'm going to have to move the car um, quickly so I can make sure I have comms with uh, final control. Which all it means is I'm, going to, I'm not going to disturb the lions. Um, I got a bit of breakup from Rebecca saying she's going to stick with us. Um, I'm just going to get a little bit higher on the hill so I guarantee you we've got comms with Rebecca. While the, while the lions are trying to... Um, dig out this warthog. Now there could be piglets in there, so be warned if they do they are successful It could be very very graphic for sensitive viewers Okay, Becca, can you try to talk to me? I just want to test my comms in this area to know whether I should stop or not Okay, I can hear Rebecca I, and it is it is quite broken, but I can still hear her enough um, to survive and you can see they've, they've dug quite a lot already. So I think what happened is the lions... What, what I think happened is that the lions were sitting with the cubs and, and, and they watched the warthogs go down this hole. And uh, now that they have seen them go down the hole, and especially after the rain, they're now trying to dig. Now, Rebecca uh, would like to do an action broadcast. So, yes, Rebecca... Um, what I will do is ask, once we've started the action broadcast, ask Seb to turn off the present light. Not yet, because otherwise I'm going to be covered in fruit chafers. <laughs> so, Rebecca, when you are ready. Welcome to everyone. We are with the Black Rock Pied, the three females that have nine cubs, and they are busy trying to dig a warthog out of a hole. And you will notice that I'm using a spotlight, a white light, and there's a very important reason I'm doing that, is lions are able to deal with the light, so we're not affecting the situation that's happening. So that's the reason I'm using white light, so we can see a bit more. So normally we'd use infrared light if they were stalking up to something. But we have the white light on now, because obviously the warthogs are under the ground. The lions are not affected at all by the light. By the way, I forgot, my name is Brent Sebastian as a camera, and we're live from the Maasai Mara in Kenya. Now what I am going to do is ask Sebastian to focus in on the lions. I'm also going to ask him to turn off the light that, um, once we're on, on the lions, that, that is on me, because after the rain, we are... Oh, there we go! There we go! Something happened! Oh! Now, that amount of dust that just, just shot out there, it... It's an artifact. It's not... It, it's actually an artifact. It's not... It's not a warthog they're after. They're after one of the most seldom seen animals in Africa. It's an artifact. You can actually hear it beating its tail and digging. I might be wrong. But it sounds to me like there could be an artifact down there. And the lions are getting very close to get that reaction. Now, if they go down the hole again, you'll actually notice that, that earth spews out. Something is digging, trying to dig down away from the lions at an absolute rate of knots. Well, I suppose you can't do a rate of knots underground. There we go. Let's see what happens. There we go. It is a warthog. Oh! Hold on. They've just got it. 
Now, sensitive viewers, the screaming is quite bad. It's a big male warthog. The female is now going for the, the throat grip. There we go. She's now got the got the throat. Now she the reason one of the reasons predators go for that throat. I know the sound is really disturbing. Is 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 to tr try shut down that screaming so it doesn't attract unwanted lions or hyenas. I know for sensitive viewers this is this is very difficult, and and a warthog screams are are very 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 hard to listen to. But fortunately, it seems like the lioness has got hold of the esophagus and she is going to suffocate it now. And those, those terrible signs will stop. So I think we arrived at the most opportune time. The lions had been digging for at least an hour to get that deep and the only reason they're digging into there is because of the rain normally the sand would be too hard but we had massive thunder showers today now this is quite gruesome the lions are starting to feed on the warthog while it is still alive oops sorry sorry i got a bug in my hair i'm just going to move the car quickly um so do apologies sensitive viewers please look away go grab a cup of tea um, this is very gruesome. The animal is still alive. The lions are, st are starting to feed on it, but this is Africa. This is nature at its most raw, and we are just witnessing something that would happen even if we, are, we were not here. Now, those screams might attract the male lions to the situation. Okay, thankfully, it, unfortunately, I'm sorry, I thought the warthog was dead. It is not dead. But must realize this animal is in such a state of shock that it's probably not feeling anything. Obviously, it is still screaming in distress, but it is in such a state of shock. The lionesses at the back are already into its stomach. They've probably already eaten its kidneys and its liver, which are high-nutrient uh, items full of iron. Here we go. I think it's, it's not long. As I said, for sensitive viewers, this is very difficult. I do apologize. But this is what happens out here on a daily basis in Africa. Now, these three females have nine little cubs that they have to feed and have to produce milk for. So this warthog will be an incredible source of nutrients for them to be able to, to feed their little cubs. So we do have a few questions. Sorry, I, I just didn't catch them there. Rebecca, can you go again? Esther would like to know, would they bite the throat in order for it not to suffer? Esther, unfortunately, lions do not have thoughts like that. They are instinctive beings. They bite the throat to stop the scream, not for suffering, but to stop, stop it attracting other predators, hyenas, uh, possibly nomadic male lions, or even their same coalition of male lions, because these lionesses, and you can see they're really tucking in, they're eating as fast as possible, because if the males heard that in this area. They'll come and take the kill from the females. Now again, this is not for sensitive viewers. This is live from Kenya. This is live from the African bush. And this is lions, what they've been doing for the last 500,000 years. The animal is dead. It is not suffering anymore. Um, and I don't think it's been suffering for quite some time due to the fact that it's been in shock. And there we go. So there's one female still holding on to the throat. I 
I think the animal is dead. She's just making doubly sure it's dead. Now, a big male warthog like this is a very dangerous animal for, for lions. They have incredibly sharp teeth. Um, their tusks, their bottom tusks, known as tushes, are as sharp as razor blades. So they are able to actually inflict incredible damage to lions. So they have to be very careful when... Oh, lioness is looking up, and I said that screaming might attract male lions. Let me just have a quick look with the spotlights around. So, so far, luckily for the girls, no sign of male lions. Now, a side would like to know, is it true, is, is their bite force proportional to the size of prey? I would say to a degree, 